Ah, I knew you could do it. Thanks. This is heavier than it looks like on TV. I'll take it. You need a free hand anyway. Win May Young Classic Tournament. Done. That trophy was supposed to go home with me tonight. Yeah? Well, maybe next time don't assume you're gonna beat me. I heard about your custom jacket. What are you talking about? Uh, no need to get into that right now. Whatever. We'll finish this some other time. Congrats again. You were really impressive out there tonight. Thank you so much for the opportunity. So, if I can ask, what's next? We have your info. Maybe we'll contact you for a tryout match sometime. I, I, I appreciate that, but I just won the May Young Classic. Haven't you seen enough? We don't want to rush into anything. Hunter, come on. He's messing with you. Sorry for trying to have some fun around here. Look, the truth is we've seen more than enough, and we think you're amazing. And that's why we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Wow. I'm speechless. Thank you. This is everything I have ever worked for and dreamed of. You've certainly earned it. Um, I just have one request. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can make it happen. I'd like you to sign my friend Trey. <laughs> Good one. I guess I deserve that after I messed with you. I'm not joking. What? You need to think very carefully about what you're asking. I already have. You really don't have to do I this. I know I don't have to, but I want to. We're a package deal, remember? So if you really want to sign me, then you're signing him too. And if that doesn't work on your end, then I walk. No hard feelings. I certainly wasn't expecting that kind of ask, but I respect your loyalty. That goes a long way in this business. But that being said, your friend here wasn't really part of our plans, but if you want to vouch for him, then you have a deal. Both of you. Congratulations. <gasps> Are you freaking serious? What was that? You just risked everything for me. Aren't you happy? I am, but... But you stood up to the COO of WWE like you were some kind of big shot. That was insane. I'll admit it was a bit of a Hail Mary, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> we're best friends. I wasn't going to do this without you. That's the deal we made. Well, thank you. It's the <laughs> nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, and that includes getting adopted. I promise you won't regret it. It was the right thing to do. Now just show them why you belong here. I will. Hey, I just realized we can cross off another list item. Well... Sort of. Compete on NXT. Oh, yeah. We wrote that back when NXT was a reality show. Eh, it's close enough. <laughs> I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red on the red carpet! I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. 
But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. You, you never know what could happen. Plus, it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet! Good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home, but keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand, but you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship! Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing, while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring, or I don't have the right look, or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map. The Dusty Classic. Only problem is, 
I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real dream, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Oh, wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You've got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Let's get back to the previously scheduled match. all that me riding my own coattail well maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match you got this we apologize again for the delay in bringing you this number one contender match for candace LeRae's nxt women's championship delay is a much nicer term than i would have used you have to wonder if that interruption will throw either of these women off their game tonight that's a valid question, but knowing the history they have with each other going back to last year's Mae Young Classic, I think both Red and Rhea will be more focused on the task at hand. Two. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh. Away, you guys are so cute. This is how people end up getting hurt. Ooh, dropped right oh. on their face. Connected on that. Back in from the floor. Go behind. German, nine. The Florida Keys. Man, just ugly impact. Uh-oh. Oh, that's it. What a splash. 
Go behind. German, nine. Tying up the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard. Oh. Ooh, wee. Sling blade. She's taking a beating here. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. She's dazed in the corner there. Oh, kick to the face. What are we going to see here? What's up? Uh, boom! Oh. Buckle bomb! What impact! No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Swing blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. She's calling for it. Ooh, that kick. Rhea answers with a decisive big kick. All right, looks like that rocked Red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. It's over. Hold on, both women's shoulders were on the mat when the ref counted three. I saw two. Can we get some kind of official ruling on this? Obviously, Rhea Ripley and Red both believe they won and deserve the title opportunity. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. What else could go wrong tonight? is sure to not disappoint, especially considering who's involved here tonight. You're absolutely right, Michael. This match will be one we'll be talking about for a long time to come. Here on NXT, it's three time! And his opponent, from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, Velveteen Dream. Guys, here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business. He has it all in ring skill, he's got charisma, and he's got great hair. I fully expect Velveteen to be bald next time I see him after hearing you say that, Saxton. Good point, Corey. Velveteen wants nothing to do with the likes of you. Just saying. D-R-E-A-M. the opening moments of our broadcast tonight, Trey called out the Velveteen Dream. Demanded he be his partner for the upcoming Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Yeah, but you left out the part where Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes. Luckily, Velveteen had a key here. That idiot would probably still be stuck in the ring. Oh, let's not forget what Velveteen Dream said. If Trey can defeat him, Velveteen will be his partner for the Dusty Classic. There's a lot riding on this match. Oh, this guy Trey is only here because his friend got him a job. There is no way he's going to beat Velveteen Dream. 
Oh, huge big boot. He's executing on his plan perfectly. Just a steady dose of punishment on display. I don't think he wants to be in that corner, Byron. Yeah, but he's not moving, Michael. Overhead suplex. Powerbomb planted. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. No need to panic, he's still swinging. Evading possible disaster there. You're Power bomb. Oof, ruthless striking. What a German suplex. Oh, Insiguri. From the middle rope. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, Byron, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. This could mean trouble. Ah, good buster! Oh, nasty impact. Elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream over. And that night, he was standing tall over. Uh-oh, quick B. He's already spending that winner's purse. Oh, man, that's good. Trey's setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. <laughs> Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. And now he's going to the top. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Purple Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the holdup? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No. No. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. Who knows with Velveteen, but that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing actions aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV or you might be out of a job. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great. That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real Dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it?
These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. I appreciate the advice, but stunts like that are more your style. I'm gonna keep it professional. And predictable, but whatever. So what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo, or the handcuff move, or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. Last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that. But it's not going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Tucky. We came back to NXT for one reason to win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada! I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. You went there, huh? He did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight. I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're gonna destroy you. That's right, Ducky, cause we're coming! I let you win last week because the dream thought about what you said and I wanna prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dreams way. Okay, let's get this match going. And he has such a deep sense of satisfaction in what he's been able to achieve here in the WWE. And when you see that type of pride on display, it really makes it a whole heck of a lot easier to root for him. Oh, flipping senton. That'll take the wind right out of you. Check this out. Just deadlifted up into a power bomb. He got out of the way. Boom! What impact! Targeting the shoulder. Incredible athleticism. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Ooh, just relentless. He's absorbed some damage already. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. Smash! That is just insulting. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Failed on the tag attempt. Nito! Man, that hurts! So agile. Fast reflexes. Swing blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Incredible athleticism. Oh, what impact! Tucker starting to look defeated out there. Unless he has no interest in walking away with the winner's end of the purse, he needs to make a tag immediately. Here's a tag. Double team on the horizon. Up they go. Hoping to make a tag here. 
It sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. He's getting closer, Corey. And look at his partner. He wants in in the worst way. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, people. Uh-oh. Setting him up. Oh. Neck breaker. Big boot. Incredible. Nasty kick to the face. Drop kick. Great athleticism. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. Boom! <laughs> Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Collision on the splash. A nice shot by Otis. Oh. Kept right in the midsection. Incredible drop. What's he going to do with it? We may be looking at a whole new match here. Almost there. So close, so close. Keep going. Come on. And gets the tag. And back Drop kick. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Setting him up. Uh-oh. This is what he feeds off of. Oh, that was a long way down. Uh-oh. SOS! Oh, he's hurt. Cover here! One, two, three. And he makes the save for his team. Will it be victorious? One, two, three. interference. Oh, guys, there's the mat slam. With some attitude, he's starting to struggle here. He's not. Will it be? One, two, oh, somehow. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Amazing reflexes on display.
Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't know. even think about splitting up just my opinion what a great tag team match thanks for watching everybody you all have history with one another but at nxt takeover more history will be made when you'll compete in a triple threat match for candace LeRae's nxt women's championship now if you could each sign your names on the contract we can make this match official you mentioned the history we have but none of that really matters now. I'm only looking ahead to take over, where I can cross another thing off my list when I walk out victorious as NXT Women's Champion. I don't make stupid lists or empty promises. I win title matches, which is what I'll continue to do at TakeOver. That's it? We're not going to talk about the fact that this shouldn't even be a triple threat match after I won the number one contender match last week. You didn't win that match. So how about you accept reality for once and stop complaining, might? Unless you're just stalling because you're not even capable of writing your own name. Fine. If you two are in such a hurry. Don't forget to dot your eye. <laughs> My name doesn't have an eye. And now your face won't either. And thanks to Rhea Ripley, this contract signing has officially gone off the rails. No wonder they ever stay on the rails. Rhea Ripley's going on a rampage. And it appears Rhea might have injured Red's eye. Uh, this is not good. This is mine. Look, we hope Red's okay, but Rhea Ripley made a statement tonight. She will destroy anything in her path to capture the NXT Women's Championship. Red, Red, you okay? Hey. Uh, oh, my eye. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from New York, weighing in at 283 pounds, the Superstar. Stay with us, we've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. Here on NXT, it's dream time!
292 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Jorkins, the Street Profits. The atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet. Tag Team Classic semi-final match gets underway. I'll be watching whether Trey can stay focused after what happened last week to his best friend Red at the hands of Rhea Ripley. Yeah, we've been told Red is home recovering with an eye injury, and it's not certain whether she'll be cleared for NXT TakeOver. Well, given what I've seen so far from Trey, I don't think his brain's capable of focusing on multiple things at once. So unless Velveteen Dream can carry their team to victory tonight, I fully expect the Street Profits to advance. Great agility there. Oh. Boom, what impact. Watch out. And there's the Yurinagi. Landed him. He's looking a little off balance. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. Boom, right to the face. Expecting that. Oh, nasty impact. DDT! Incredible. He's not looking so hot here, guys. And momentum is certainly not on his side right now. Oh, Montez Ford turning the tables. Scoop slam! been dealt out so far. His partner must feel absolutely helpless right now. The only thing he can do is stand there and watch his guy get completely decimated. Oh. Just striking at will. He's in big trouble. Scoop slam! I don't like the look in his eye. Montez Ford with the early cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. This could be huge. Slam Still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. Comes in off the tag. Take your time. Enjoy it. Boom! Before the fist drops on your face. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. He got in there. Good save. Really just laying it in. Great counter. 
Impressive in-ring I No way. Astounding power. And just like that, it's all over. Angelo Dawkins is in a real bad spot. smart for him to make a tag. You'd have to think his partner has a little more gas in the tank. We're going to make the tag here. A tag at this point can change the whole complexion of this match, Michael. Getting closer now. You don't get much closer than this, Michael. Huge overhead belly to belly. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Stop dead in his tracks. Oh, so close, Michael. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. Suplex on the open. The hardest part of the ring. Bringing it back into the ring. Red suplex. Making it look easy. Picture perfect drop kick. Dream just barely got out of the way. A huge overhead belly. Keep this match from slipping away. He needs to get his partner in there and take a break. Successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. And Dream Valley Driver. We all know what's next. Did Trey just tag himself in? What is he thinking? Trey with his version of the Purple Rainmaker. And it's all over. Trey and Velvet 
2018 advance to the finals of the Dusty Classic. Look at this clown celebrating like he accomplished something. He stole the win from Velveteen Dream. All that matters is they won and they're advancing. And look, Velveteen approves. Yeah, well, I don't. 